Hello, all you lovely fuckers! My name is Mangs, and welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 12 Heroes of Light and Shadow. We are at the Dank Emperor himself, Aden! Look at that guy, look at that guy, look at that fucking guy, he is scary. Now, uh, we have a sniper to kill. Preferably, it would be nice to kill him before he kills us. But that fucker's probably gonna get healed up, thanks to the bishop down in the corner spamming staves. Really fucking annoying, man. Hit point skill. Anyway, let's go open some chests with Marth. That's a brave sword. My answer to everything is just to send Ogmatham, so I, I trust this will work with this dragon as well. He's pretty much the only one who can take all three hits, so... And they don't seem to want to move before you move into their range, so... I don't know what else to do, really. That earth dragon is really fast. Alright, no crit from Manx today, sadly. But, uh, but yeah, Ogwa can just survive this. And he hits back pretty hard too, which is nice. I think, did the bishop already heal? Or will he heal at the end of the turn? He might heal at the end of the turn, actually. We shall have to see. No, he didn't heal at all. That's great. Alright, let's keep attacking this guy. Uh, maybe Manx will actually get a crit now. That'd be nice. Nice! Sweet! Alright, that's really helpful. Let's uh, keep him topped off because there's a nasty Bolgalon mage right over there. Let's go get the Bullion. And I'm pretty sure Noir can just smash this Earth Dragon. Yeah, he can. Yup. <laughs> eh. He can smash this dragon like there's no tomorrow. The, earth, the generic Earth Dragons don't seem to have like the half damage taken skill that Medius has. They just seem to be really bulky. We don't need to use... Yeah, we shouldn't use the Forge Silver Bow. That's primarily used for killing Vibrants. And, uh, yeah, let's kill a kill... Let's kill a kill... Let's kill a kill! Kill a kill to Tiki! There we go. Don't like that 10% mischance she has, but... Uh, eventually, maybe she'll become a good unit. I don't know. I kind of regret training her right now, because she's like... It's taking so long for her to get to a level where she can do anything without getting babied. And if you need to get babied, like, what's the point? What is the fucking point? Any unit can become good if you baby them. I haven't invested a lot of lot in Tiki though, but I've given her a lot of kills. And I wish she got all experience a lot quicker than she did. Or a lot quicker than she does. Because she doesn't actually get experience that quickly. She she seems to be treated as a pre-promote in terms of getting experience. Which is kinda bad, let's be honest. It's actually really bad. Anyway, hit points, magic, skill, luck, defense, and resistance. So, Kat I'm really happy with Katarina, though. She turned out to be a lot better than I thought she would be. Like, she's just a generic sage, but she's a really good staff user, and she can fight pretty well as well. So, that's that's cool to see. Anyway, we're getting closer to the Dank Emperor. And that mage will die next turn, hopefully. No, never mind, he won't. Fuck this game. <laughs> Alright, we'll just keep attacking the guy. We can heal him up, so... Oh, I should have moved Marth down with the Geosphere. That critical could have made a big difference there, but it's fine. Anyway, let's recover Manx up to make sure he stays at full health. And yeah, I guess we can just continue to get the chests. Now, don't know if this hero will attack me or not. I guess we can find out. Uh, let's, uh... So this hero can attack over here. But that sniper can only attack over there, so we can probably place Navar here safely. Hopefully, maybe. We shall have to see. Alright, so let's see. Anyone need healing? Probably not. Let's end the turn. Fucking bishop. 33% crit, you can do it, Manx. Go, 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 go. Ah, he'll die next turn. Not sure about those generals, if they're gonna come at me or not. Guess we shall have to find out when I open the door. Actually, can I open the door? I think Marth has a door key. I'm pretty sure he does. Alright, Manx, level up. Hit points, skill, defense, and resistance. Nice. Alright, that's fine. Oh, crap, that was who I wanted to heal. Anyway, again staff. Another again staff? That's great. Alright, so I'm guessing I need to move closer before this guy decides to attack me? Nah, he's just standing still like a retard. 
Brave lands. Wow, this this room is filled with nice treasure, isn't it? That's nice to see. All right, so how are we gonna do this? I mean, maybe when we open the door, maybe something happens. I'm guessing that is what's going on right here. Okay, let's get a door key. I bought a lot of them. Hello, how are you guys doing? Are you doing fine? This guy can't attack here, can he? He shouldn't be able to. All right, let's place Manx right here. Let's see if that causes, causes them to move or not. Uh, they do move, all right. Wait, what? Why is the boss music playing? You guys hear that? That's a different... Is this guy, is, is this guy a mini boss? Is that what's going on right here? I suppose Hardem's bodyguards are treated as mini bosses? That's really fucking weird. That's really fucking weird. Alright then. I, I don't mind. It's just really weird to hear a different boss theme music. Hit points, strength, skill, speed, defense. That's good. I suppose like okay, this guy won't attack yet. So we need to draw these guys in somehow. Is it gonna be Ogma again? I, I'm guessing it's gonna be Ogma again. Or maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I could potentially just send Ogma at them. I think that could work. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, so now that causes the guy to attack. It's good to know. I don't like using Ogma for everything, though. I mean, the guy has literally killed half of the enemies on this map. But that might actually cause the... Okay, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't cause them to move at all. Okay. Just be that way, then. Fucking hell, really? I mean, I don't like to do this, but what else can I do, really? I mean... It's so fucking silly, but what else can I do? What causes them to move? Okay, now they move! And this guy even attacks Marth? Alright, so when you when you get to that point, they start moving. Alright, get it. Get it. I get it. Alright, Ogma just smashed a hero with a hammer. Because when you're that good, you don't really need good weapons. You can just kill everything. Oh my god, Ogma, what the... Ogma! <laughs> you're gonna kill Harden too, that's, that's the worst part. And I just realized Marth is on, on the other side of this fence, so he needs to go around, or he needs to trans... At least he needs to transfer, uh, transfer the light spare over here to Manx. Can Manx challenge Harden at all? I don't think he can. Ah, no, he gets doubled. I mean, he might not get doubled uh, if I give him the uh, G uh, the Star Sphere, but still, it, it doesn't matter. What What's the point? Um, let's kill this guy with Tiki. Oh, nice. Look at that. Tiki's actually starting to do damage now against snipers who can't fight back. What a good unit. Sure, I'm glad I gave her experience. Alright, uh, maybe we should give... Uh, let's give Kord a kill. He's really close to being able to use the uh, the good axe right now, which is really nice. Alright, so who can attack over here? Oh, this guy has a swarm, does he? Alright. And of course, it's positioned so that the general can also move over here. How nice. Alright, let's kill this guy with Kord. Yeah, he's like really fucking close right now. I think like one more attack and he gets it. Kaboom! Ra -ba 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 -ba. Hit points, skill. Yes! He can use the air rank axe now. Fuck yes, guys. That's really cool. That is going to be a really nice weapon to use. Alright, so let's go and uh, see. This guy can attack over here. Uh, this guy actually has a, a silver lance. That's 30. That's too much damage, isn't it? That is way too much damage. Ba, ba, ba. We can probably save next turn. Brrrp. I don't know why I'm bringing Media, to be quite honest. I don't think I need her anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so, uh, now Cord can probably go up and smash this guy. He can't, he needs speed. What the fuck? Anyway, we need to get the Light Spare around. Ba, 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 ba. We could just go and smash the shit out of them with an Armor Slayer or something like that. Are all these guys now? These, these are pillars. Yeah, this is not a- this is- this is a door, this is a pillar. See the difference? 
I don't. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Uh, Alright, how much damage does this guy do to Cord? He does 28, so... If he takes a swarm plus that, he will die. Good to know. Maybe I should just save now. I think I'll just save. There might be a small chance, like, because I can't do shit to Harden if I don't have the Light Spare, so that's completely fucking pointless. If I could draw that General out, though, I could go kill the Swarm Bishop. Um, I could just kill him with Ogma. But I'm tired of using Ogma to fix everything. Do I have an Armor Slayer? No, I don't. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna kill him with Ogma. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. I really don't give a shit anymore. I just want to kill these guys. I should I should trade uh, Tiki's Mage Stone, right? So she doesn't get swarmed. Alright, don't worry, Ogma. I'm coming with your Light Spare right here. There we go. Heal up Mangs, get some staff experience. I don't know, now might be a good good idea to run if you're a hardened supporter. I just feel like that, you know. When all of your dudes are dead, it might be a good idea. Alright, so. Uh, we have the spare. Let's give it to him. Light spare. He has all, all the three spares, plus Mart's spare. Uh, actually, one, two, three. I need... That's that's a little bit sucky. Uh, I could have actually gotten uh, the support bonus if I had placed Marth properly. However, I definitely need the Mercurius, and the Mercurius is in the convoy, isn't it? <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I do. Ugh, are you kidding me right now? All right, we'll just run around. God damn it! <laughs> All right, well, we can Silver Axe the shit out of this guy. Ba, ba, ba. Come to think of it, Cord with the Star Sphere and everything, and the the A rank Axe. Let's see if he had 25 speed. Ooh, I think Cord might be able to to fight Harden. That would be insanely awesome. I would have loved that. Oh my God, are we gonna have Cord kill Harden? You know that would be really cool. Maybe we should do that with the A rank Axe. It might actually work out. Let's do it. Oh my God, let's do it. Let's just trade everything over to him. You know what? We're, we're totally gonna do that. Who cares about Ogma? Ogma's, Ogma's had his moment in the sun, you know? And also, we're totally gonna let Tiki murder this guy. Oh, he drops the recover staff. How nice. Oh, shit. I almost lost George. I almost fucking lost George. But yeah, let's do it. This is, this is gonna be great. Alright. This is some nice experience for Tiki. She can uh, level up on this guy. Hit points, skill, and speed. Fuck yes! Now she has 20 speed with the Divine Stone. That's really good. Alright, so now we have Marth coming in here. Let's get, get over to Cord. Alright, so... Let's go bench this. And let us get the... I don't even know how the fuck you pronounce that. Hout Clara? Something along those lines. It would be nice to attack him from the pillar, though, so I definitely think I will do that. And I definitely need physics sta staves if I'm going to go up against Harden, because that, that shit is going to hurt. Anyway, Tiki, will you kill this guy already? Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Alright. Let's see how well he fares against Harden. Ah, pretty well! He just needs one crits. That's all he needs. And he should be fine. Alright, now we just need to kill that uh, that guy, because we can't have him keep swarming George. Let's just bring bring out the Divine Stone and finish this. Alright, thanks for the recover staff. Okay, the time has come, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come. Uh, George doesn't need any healing. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Actually, we should probably not attack on this face. Yeah, we probably should not do that. Alright, go Harden. The rebel army, have you come here to die? Taste the might of the Gradius. Oh, Harden's battle model is so fucking cool. Wow, really? That's not a lot of damage. 
That's not a lot of damage at all. Also, we should probably uh, trade over some staffs. Uh, we could, if we're really feisty, we could give Cord speed, but it's not going to make him double. So it's, at the end of the day, it's pretty useless. Isn't it? I think so. Uh, Alright, if we attack, like, we can't dance, because we can't rescue, so it's pointless. We're going to have to make him attack us. Does Harden take, like, half damage or something? Or is it just his health bar that's too small for his actual health pool? Yeah, I think, think that's in. Yeah, he essentially has question mark hit points. That is why. Alright, but at least now we have uh, Fina, so we can... Okay, never mind, we can't dance there. That would be suicide. Alright, I do believe keeping Ogma nearby would actually be of some help. I think they have a support, don't they? I don't know, but I think they do. Anyway, now we have Fina here. So we can dance and get back during the same turn. Come on, just one crit, dude. Crit! Yes! Ah! Oh. Cord being the fucking MVP. Oh, we don't even need to... Oh, that's great. We don't even need to move him away. Alright, take him out. One more crit and he goes down. Do I even need to use the air rank axe? I probably do. <laughs> Although a silver axe might just be might be just as fine. Hit points, skill, speed, luck, resistance. Although I I think I I need the crit from it. So. Although does it have that much crit on it? It actually has only ten crits, but still we'll use it. It's against one of the final bosses. It it should be warranted. Eh. Crit! Woohoo! And he turns into Nice Harden, Prince Marth. I feel as though I've finally awoken from a long, long nightmare. Marth, forgive me. I tried to fight the demon inside me, but I wasn't strong enough. I fought so hard, but I just couldn't beat it. I wanted to die by your hand, and now I'm finally saved. Marth, please save Nina. Save Nina. Please tell her. Tell her for me. Till the very end, I loved her always. Tell her to please forgive me. All right. Dark Emperor down. Hit points, strength, luck, and defense. And we got the Gradius and the Dark Spear. And now, of course, we form the Shield of Seals. Epic cutscene. Now, if you don't form this shield, you're going to get a bad ending right here. The game's going to end, and the Garnef dressed up as Nina. Yes, I'm not fucking kidding. He's going to show up and go like, sup, and that gives Marth the Binding Shield, which gives uh, him plus two tall stats. So essentially just transfers the Star Sphere over to him. Uh, I don't know if it gives him anything else, but what I do know is that we're going to go and... Uh, oh, the music actually stops? That's cool. I'm going to go and get this chest, though. No, wait, there it is. There we go. He just disappeared for like two turns. That's really cool. And creepy, actually. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this map is done. And there's a Gaiden chapter coming up after this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these guys show up, and uh, if you don't have the Shield of Seals, you don't see through their illusions, and they're... I don't know how that works. Like, so at some point, surely you realize that Nina is not Garnav, but hey, you get the bad ending. Sire, the battle is over. We have won. Yes, and with this, finally. Sire, look over there. Your sister and the others. Elise and Princess Nina. Lena, Maria, you're all safe. Marth, I'm so happy you made it. Ah! Uh-oh. The shields dispels your transvestite uniforms. You carry the binding shield. Ah, my magic has been dispelled. Withdraw, my priest. At this rate, he will let us hurry. The Shadow Dragon's return. Yeah, let's just casually mention the fact, like, mention our secret plans to Marth. Garnef. That man was the Dark Pontifex Garnef. His servants were impersonating the princess, or princesses. What was he playing at? He mentioned something about the Shadow Dragon's return. So, as we suspected, my sister and the other clerics must be in Garnef's hands. Forgive my interruption, sire, but Lord Gato has arrived. Lord Gato, take me straight to him. Or take him straight to me, I suppose. Excellent work, Prince Marth. You managed to obtain all of the orbs. That, thanks to your effort, you lost. The lost binding shield is finally complete. 
Incredible, it felt as though the shield itself pulled in all the orbs. So this is the fabled binding shield. But what now, Lord Gato? From Garna's actions, it would seem he has the noble clerics imprisoned. I worry for their safety. Hmm, I understand how you feel. However, we have far we have a far greater task to accomplish. We must seal away the earth dragons. Soon they will awaken from their slumber. They will rise up from the ground, destroying everything in their wake, and turn this world into a living hell. Go, Moth, and tomb the awakened dragons once more. Yup, that's what we're gonna do. Manx, news information regarding the assassins have reached the palace. As you may have guessed, they were dispatched by Hardin and Garneth. They, the head of their organization is a woman named Eremiah. Eremiah? Where is she now? Here, in Akanaya. Apparently she runs an orphanage in the mountains. An orphanage? Yep, so it would seem. However, it's an orphanage in name only. She confines the children to a basement, devoid of light, and teaches them all manner of wicked things. Sire, please let me go. I'll crush them. I won't allow such a travesty to stand. I understand, Manx. I too cannot allow a situation like this to carry on. Please wait. Katarina, were you listening the whole time? There's a hidden passage where Lady Aramaya is. I'll, I'll show you the way. Please allow me to go. I'll be fine. I won't believe for a moment that this will atone for everything I've done. But while I live, I want to help in any way that I can. Alright. So next up is a Gaiden chapter. It's gonna be fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, ladies and gentlemen. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you did. It really helps out the channel a lot. As always, my name is Finn Manx, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.